Hi friends, if you need to install Windows Server 2019, then just follow my video. And if you need to free Windows VPS from Hedgner Cloud, you just only need to sign up with my link. You will get two free VPS server from Hedgner Cloud. Hi guys, this is Shweb back again with another video. Uh, in this video tutorial, I will teach you how we can install Windows 2000. 16, 19, 20 on Hazard Cloud VPS server. So this is very easy. Just you need to follow me. First of all, we need to uh, go on Hazard Console Panel, and now we need to create an VPS server. First of all, you need to add a new server. After all, you need to select your location. In my case, I will select Helsinki, Finland. Or then you select your OS image. I will select 18.04. Uh, then you need to uh, select your VPS server or dedicated. Uh, here you can uh, check your dedicated servers. Uh, but in my case, I will use standard. And I will install Windows on uh, first plan. Now you need to select server name Finland server. If you need backups, you can select, but they will charge you an extra 20% cost. Now you need to click on create and buy now button. After will you will get your server login details via email now i will click on my server now you can check our server on running ubuntu 18.04 they asking uh, you for to login but we don't need to login because we need to install windows in my case i will install windows 2019 uh, but using a same method, you can install 2016 or other also. Now you need to uh, click on ISO images. Here we have uh, all the images, all the drivers. Uh, here in fifth page, you can check uh, Windows Server 2019 English, German, Russian, th uh, 2016 also have. Or uh, here we have virtual window drivers. Now, first of all, we need Windows 10 2019 English variant. You need to click on mount. After you get, uh, get uh, server ISO image attached, now you need to turn off your VPS server. After turn off your VPS server, now you need to turn on your VPS server once again. Okay, that's great. Now you need to click on console button. Oh yeah, here is it. You can check our Windows ISO file successfully attached. Now we are able to install Windows 10 2019 on our server. Okay friends, it takes some time depending on your server speed. Now you need to select your Windows Server 2019 language, time and keyboard act. In my case, I will use uh, same specifications. I will enable GUI mode and now we have mouse button. I will click on install now. Now you need to select your operating system. We only need desktop experience. So we can select Windows Server 2019 standard or uh, uh, data center. We will use standard desktop experience. Then you need to click on next button. Now just accept 
the license terms and conditions now uh, you can choose custom install windows only here you can check the uh, we don't have any uh, partition any hard disk in our windows server 2019 now go back to your console panel and click on fourth page here you can check uh, we have virtual windows driver now you need to click on mount button after mount button uh, you get successfully message now you need to click on load drivers as you know that we already mount our windows driver now click on browse here you can check we have boot file here in boot file uh, sorry click on cd drive d virtual windows drivers Now just go to VIO S C S I here and click on OK. Uh, sorry, click on Browse button once again. Now go to VIO S C S I folder. Now as you know that we uh, are going to install Windows 2019. Just open this folder. Here you have AMD 64 that's the driver click on ok button now you need to click on next now they are trying to install windows driver on our windows server 2019 here is it now you have your disk partitions uh, in our case i will delete all the partitions and will create once drive again one drive again uh, now need to delete this one also okay we have nine now 19.1 gb disk space free now click on new button click apply okay okay now you need to click on next button next button not working because uh we're getting an error we could not install windows in the uh, in the location you choose please check your media drive here more the about what happened now we need back to mount our windows once again uh, windows server 2019 in english variant click on mountain uh, mount button okay now go back and click on refresh button Here is it, we are, uh, are getting back our next button. Now click on next. Now uh, Windows Server 2019 installation steps just started. I'm going to pause this, uh, this video until complete this process. So friends, our Windows Server 2019 just installed. Now we just need to do some more steps to complete the installation. And friends, uh, if you sign up with my link, you will get two free VPS servers from Hedgner. So I just suggest you to sign up with my link. Thank you. Okay, now we need to unmount our windows. Okay. You can check the uh, server ISO image be attached. Okay, great. Uh, now, you just need to put here your password. Click on finish button. Now click on control plus alt plus delete button. 
put your password and click on enter button now we just only need to install our internet drivers now click on tools button here you need to computer management now go to device manager here you can check our uh, ethernet controller not working now click on update driver browse my computer browse scroll down cd drive we don't have any cd drive now you go back to virtual windows drivers click mount again to install some more drivers okay server iso image attached now go back okay now click cd drive now click on net kvm okay click on 2019 click amd64 click okay click next click on install button okay great our internet driver successfully installed okay now click on other drivers click browse click next i don't need other drivers to install that's why i'm just closing this okay now you need to uh, enable your internet desktop session click on this pc properties click on remote settings we need to enable our remote settings now click on allow remote desktop connection okay click on okay button okay great now just copy your ipv4 just connect your rdp click on more choices use a different account put your username add me this creator put your password now just click on okay button to connect the rdp oh yes our remote desktop connection successfully connected i hope you enjoyed my video if you like my video please share my video with your friends thank you